everybody. Chad McNabb driving here in East Tennessee. And right now I'm driving in Hardin Valley on Hickory Creek Road in Knox County. This is a very uh, fast growing part of the uh, western part of uh, Knox County. Just right across the uh, Interstate 40 from Farragut. Of course, Farragut is a uh, very uh, popular uh, city here in Knox County. About 20 miles from downtown Knoxville right here. In the very western part of uh, Knox County. Uh, just a couple miles back is Loudoun County. Take the very first exit uh, when you come into Knox County, Watt Road, come out here. Here is this new subdivision, as you can see, going in right here. Like I said, very popular. This is called uh, the Reserve at Hickory Creek. Built this new roundabout here, too. There's a very nice subdivision there on the left that is called uh, Covered Bridge. And there is a covered bridge out there. As I said, you're just a couple of miles from Interstate 40 here. Farragut and uh, of course Farragut is the city of Knox County with the highest per capita income and housing costs and I would say Hard Valley is pretty uh, close to that too. The Hard Valley is just an unincorporated community right now it's not a it's just a community in the county so it's not actually a city. That's the Loud Lantern Park subdivision and also the reason why this is all this housing, as you can see, there's still some uh, available land out here, still some farm land out here. Of course, Knoxville uh, over the years has grown mostly to the west, from downtown to the west is where Knox County has mostly grown in the past 30, 40 years. Now, you are starting to see some more growth in the northern part of Knox County, though, close to I 75. And, uh, Powell Halls, Carnes too. Carnes is just to, uh, to the east of Hardin Valley. And also too, you're very close over here. Of course, if you're close to Fair, you're close to Turkey Creek Shopping Center. It's the biggest shopping center in East Tennessee. And that's on the, in Farragut, uh, actually the Farragut Knoxville city, uh, uh, city limits run through Turkey Creek, so you have Farragut and Knoxville. Uh, both Turkey Creek is in both the cities. Also, though, of course, you have the Tennessee River over there in Farragut and Fort Loud Lake, so you have a lot of housing on the lake. Then over here, a few miles uh, to the north over here is uh, the Clinch River, and that forms the border with Anderson County. Of course, Anderson County is where uh, Oak Ridge is a famous scenic uh, secret city where a lot of the Manhattan Project during World War II, uh, the, uh, a lot of the uh, uranium enrichment from the nuclear bombs used in uh, World War II were uh, done over here in Oak Ridge. It's about five, six, seven miles over here to the north off of uh, Pellissippi Parkway. And then, like I said, the Clinch River over there. And then you have Melton Hill Lake over here. You can, uh, there's Campbell Station Road. That will take you directly about three miles back over to Turkey Creek and to Farragut. You got a food city right here. There is the Hard Valley Schools over here on my left. Hard Valley Elementary, Hard Valley High School, then the Hard Valley Middle School is in the back behind the high school. said there is still and uh, there's more uh, it goes a few more miles out here and you got to we'll get into some more retail that's coming up out here a little bit closer to uh, Pellissippi Parkway and like I said you're only a few miles from Turkey Creek and Farragut and Farragut has a lot of retail too
there's the Glen and Hard Valley subdivision. Looks like something's been going to go in there. It's probably another subdivision. And there is another uh, small community over here by Hard Valley. I'll drive out here by in a second. It's called Solway. Solway is over here close to uh, Pellissippi Parkway and goes back towards uh, Clinch River and Oak Ridge. Another big subdivision, uh, Windermere Trails. There's a big apartment complex and there's apartments way up, up on the ridge up there too. There's some uh, retail over here. Doctor's offices, dentist offices, there's an uh, eye doctor it looks like, anytime fitness up there. And then over here on my left is uh, Pellissippi uh, State Community College and that is a big uh, community college here in Knox County. Probably around 10,000 enrollment. Sherwin Williams over here, Hard Knocks Pizza, Farm Bureau Insurance, Hot Waxed, Matlock Tire, Arby's, Sports Clips, Zaxby's. Now I'm coming up here is uh, coming up to Pellissippi Parkway and that will take you to the right, we'll take you back over to Farragut and Knoxville. To the left was going to take you to Oak Ridge. There's Wendy's. And now I'll drive out here to the Solway just for a minute. There's another shopping area right across, uh, from over here <clears throat> across the, on the other side of the Pellissippi Parkway right there. Of course, also to the right, you take Pellissippi Parkway, you can take it all the way to the Knoxville Airport. It's about maybe 15 miles from here in uh, Alcoa. Actually, so the uh, Knoxville Airport is actually in Alcoa and Blount County. But uh, Pell you can take Pellissippi Parkway out here to the right and go to there. All right, now I'm turning on the Solway Road. Um, I don't know if you can see in the distance there are some of the Crab Orchard Mountains in the, over towards the Cumberland Plateau. Of course, East Tennessee, uh, you got Crab Orchard Mountains over here. That's a very uh, one of the least populated areas of East Tennessee once you get over there. There's a big new apartment complex going right in here. Of course, also that way, there's a Greystone Summit apartment community up here on my left, too. Got the town of Oliver Springs uh, in Anderson County. Well, actually, it's in Anderson and Morgan County, maybe a little bit in Rome County, too. Of course, that's where the movie uh, October Sky, a lot of it was filmed. Stood in for the town of West Virginia. Butler Veterinary Services. And also to, uh, like I said, Morgan County. And then there is uh, Wind Rock. Uh, that's a huge, or north wind bit, 60, 70,000 acre uh, area over there to, for all, uh, all kinds of off road vehicles. There is Solway Station subdivision. ATVs, motorcycle, four wheelers, all kinds. Of, I think you can, uh, the uh, Razors, all those kinds of uh, four wheel, off wheel, off road uh, kind of vehicles you can uh, ride. I think they even, there's a lot of them you can even have rentals over there too. You can rent to ride. In Morgan County, of course, also Morgan County, very famous for having uh, the location of. Uh, Brushy Mountain State Prison in uh, the tiny community of uh, uh, Petros. And I 
uh, it's the prison that uh, James Earl Ray was uh, uh, held in, the man who killed uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Sets in a little, uh, down in between these hills in a valley over there, uh, in the Petros, and I was, but now, of course, it was closed down several years ago, and it's now a distillery. They make uh, moonshine and whiskey over there now. It's called that light, end of the line. There's another subdivision here in Solway. Oh, there's a nice old black. Oh man, I didn't get that. Till Creek. Right there. And it's now, like I said, Brushy Mountain is now a distillery. And also, you can, uh, I believe, you can go in there for ghost tours. You maybe even can uh, stay uh, all night in there. I think they have like nights where you, they'll let you stay all night, of course. Old, uh, very old prison. Of course, you hear a lot of, you got the ghost stories, a lot of the, all the things that happened there over the years. Uh, it's probably about, let's say, 30, 40 miles from here to Petros on uh, Pellissippi Parkway. National Laboratory is in uh, Anderson Rome County, one of the most prestigious national laboratories. And now back up to actually, this has become uh, Oak Ridge Highway. Well, 162, and then back to the right, it's going to be uh, Pellissippi Parkway. And we're actually, I could turn left right here. I'll turn left. This is Oak Ridge Highway now that I'm uh, entering in. This will take you into Carnes Community in West Knox County. And also, you can take this road all the way to downtown Knoxville. So you're about 20 miles or so from downtown Knoxville right here. This becomes Western Avenue once you get to the Knoxville city limits. But Carnes is a, uh, starting to really uh, pick up growth too. Especially further out here when I get closer, a few miles out here on Lumpers Highway, Emory Road, West Emory Road. And then also uh, Oak Ridge Highway will run into Shod Road and Shod Road you can turn left to go into the Fountain City neighborhood of Knoxville. Fountain City right there off Clinton Highway has a lot of shops, a big shopping center. Walmart, Target, Home Depot, Lowe's, all kinds of rest, fast food restaurants, restaurants over there. Of course, Fountain City is the northernmost neighborhood of Knoxville. So they are widening a, one, a ball camp road here in Carnes to four lanes from Hardin Valley all the way to uh, Shod Road, like I said, causing the growth that's happening here. Once you get up here if, uh, to Oak, closer to uh, the Carnes uh, uh, schools, a lot more uh, housing going in. And then on West Emory Road, a lot of new subdivisions going in. Car 
Lawrence Valley, Knox County Sports Park right here on my left. Beaver Creek. Beaver Creek runs all north through here. This is part of Knox County. So this area right here is really starting to blow up. A lot of new retail, especially too, uh, over here out between Clinton Highway and I-75. And uh, Powell community and uh, over towards Halls community. And then, of course, if you keep going all, all through Halls on the East Emory Road, or you're going to run into the Corrington and Gibbs community. And that is in very northeastern Knox County, and that's where Kenny Chesney and Morgan Wallen went to high school. And that over in Corrington, and now I'm coming into main kind of shopping area of Carnes right here because of the Carnes stores or the yeah Carnes schools excuse me so turn right right there that will take you back over to uh, Ball Camp Road and back over to towards uh, Hardin Valley Carnes High School is out there on the right too Right here on the left, turn left right there, that will take you out to West Emory Road, like I said, and that's where a lot of new housing is going in. And then that will take you uh, well into Clinton uh, Clinton Highway, like I said, went to in Powell. Of course, Clinton is this town, the county seat of Anderson County. That's a nice town of about 11, 000, 10, 11,000 population, and it's close to uh, the very eastern part of Clinton is uh, next to I-75. It's got a nice old historic downtown area. Near Dental, there is a Vance Auto Store. A subway Storage Center there. Condos over there on the right. Some big subdivision over here on my left. Ingles Grocery Store. Old Jangles. Ingles, that's a local. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where the headquarters are, but there's a lot of this more of the East Tennessee grocery store. Family dentistry. Sad that uh, you can definitely see there's a lot of land, a land still available over here. Can be developed. In of course, that's what they're doing over here, and uh, especially right here off Emory Road on my left. And then there is a new good size shopping. Uh, center a little bit further out here on Oak Ridge Highway. Uh, we'll run into here in a minute. It's like Carnes High School has probably got over a thousand enrollment in it, so it's a good size school. There is uh, Oak Ridge Federal Credit Union, Carm Stores, Dollar Tree, Tenova Healthcare, McDonald's, Grace Baptist Church.
my boy. Horses. Uh, okay. Got a horse farm over here on the left. But definitely a lot of potential growth over here. Of course, you know, a lot of people don't like that. Knoxville is probably one of the hottest growing uh, cities in the United States and a lot of people. But it's not the only city that's growing a lot, but a lot of people from here. Of course, a lot of even and then all across the country, houses are going up, housing costs, apartment rental costs. So there are some blowback from some people, but Knoxville's been growing for many years, and East Tennessee has, and I mean, it may be just accelerated a little bit more here in the past couple of years, but it's been growing for a while. All right. to come up to uh, this new shopping center up here and Shod Road like I said we'll take you back over to the big shopping center over uh, off Clinton Highway in Fountain City there you go there's Taco Bell food city grocery store big stores and also they're widening the road here they've been riding to up to here, four lanes, and that's this red light. That's the road I was talking about. They're widening the four lanes over back over towards Hard Valley. This road right here, this red light. Let's add this now. Just right up the road, you actually enter the, into the Knoxville city limits, and you're about right here. Probably 10, 11 miles from downtown Knoxville now. But that's going to be my tour of Hardin Valley, Solway, Carnes. If you want to see more of Eastern Middle Tennessee, just comment below, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching this video.